Okay, hello out there in biker world. I noticed that everybody is taking out their catalytic converters by using an access panel on the side. I only, however, chose to take out the catalytic converter via leaving the pipe on and going in side and drilling it out. I heard a lot of people say you can't do it, but I just did. And it took me about eh, probably a total of an hour to two hours, you know, barring getting all the equipment together, figuring out what I needed to get. I used two different size pry bars. I used a small drill bit. I used a big auger bit on low speed. I first cored the auger bit completely through. You know, mark your bit to where you know the depth. You don't want to come back past here. Otherwise, you'll get the drilling inside your down pipes. So, as you can see, there is no access panel cut on the side with a Dremel or whatever. Didn't want to go that route. I know how to weld, but I just didn't want to, I just wanted to be fast. So, again, cord the metal first, took a small bit, a long bit over there you see, and I did some holes around the big core. And once you get that cord through and you can see the other side of your pipes, um, you start picking at the center and just keep picking at it, picking at it, picking at it, and just draw it out. And I used a magnet. I got a magnet on the light, and I used a magnet on the uh, screwdriver there. and just went in, stuck it in, drew the pieces out. When you get enough of it out, you get a lot of it loose, you know, make sure your bike's backed out of the garage, like I did, back down the driveway, and just blow out all the excess. And you may have to do that three or four times until it's all the way out. But again, it's, it is all the way out. There's no catalytic converter in there whatsoever. Here's a lot of the catalytic converter in pieces in a magnet tray. Here's some in big chunks in the bag and then I threw some in the trash can but again that's my 2016 Dyna Low Rider it is a lot louder and has a lot more horsepower I don't care what they say yeah, I, I know the difference so all these dynos and all this stuff people putting them on there on the machine and telling them whatever I've read so many forms but it does add, it probably adds a good 10 miles, um, excuse me, 10 horsepower to the bike and it increases the decimal level to around 95 to 98 when you remove the baffles and the catalytic converter. Any questions, just post a message. Thanks.